For decades, Nakuru National Park in Kenya has been home to one of the world's greatest wildlife spectacles. Its vast lake attracted the largest concentration of flamingos anywhere in the world. But Lake Nakuru is drying up and the flamingos are disappearing fast. The problem can be traced to the lake's source. Mao was once the largest forest in East Africa. For millennia it has acted as the region's water tower, providing water to millions of East Africa's people and animals. But after decades of government-backed deforestation, settlement and cultivation, this crucial lifeline is drying up. In Kenya and the rest of drought-prone East Africa, the future of Mao is a hotly debated issue. But this issue isn't new for one group of people. Forest, surely forest, without forest we cannot survive. We gather fruits from forest, we collect honey from forest, we hunt wild animals in forest. In fact, we have got expertise, those who know different bags of trees to heal different diseases. That is how we survive in forest. The Yogiak are the indigenous inhabitants of the Mao forest, and they have been fighting to stop deforestation since colonial times. So, what the honey bee is central to the Ogyak way of life. The hives, built using logs and vines, are hidden away in the dense patches of forests that still remain. Honey is a medicine. When you are injured and you seal with the honey, it helps. It, does, it protects germs. Honey, we believe it is something given by God because a bee is a free, it works for you free. But for many Yogiak, there is nowhere left to hang their hives. <laughs> Now the Ogiek are treated like squatters on their own ancestral land. Elizabeth Tabernoy was evicted from her home by farmers looking to expand their crops. They smashed and burnt 24 Ogiek homes in the area she lives. Now the government is taking drastic action to conserve what is left of the forest. As a result, hundreds of people have been evicted from the area. Now the Ogiek are threatened not only by the problem, but also its solution. If we are to be evicted from our, our homeland to other areas, we shall not be able to cope with the, the kind of life living in there, whereby life is very expensive. We cannot afford to live in such areas. After we are evicted, we, we remain beggars in other people's farms. If the Ogiek are not exempt from this forced exodus, then they could become conservation refugees punished for living in a forest that others are virtually destroyed. If the world wants somebody to conserve the forest, let Okiek be the people. Okiek people are the people to guard the forest.